Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working on the ravine for the villagers so far. Now, I've noticed that there has been no villagers, so I added a villager spawner, you know, just so they spawn in while I continue building. And there's one iron golem left from Mayhem. But I have added to the project. So, last time we ended off with the hotel slash apartments and the stables, which they can't reach yet, but I will make that very, very soon. I like how it's an actual stable. But then you have the mountain over and you have the leaves. And before that, we did the sanctuary, which is probably still my favorite build today from everything. Oh, there's villagers in here. Maybe that's where they all have been. Maybe even down. In, uh, I don't think they can go up there. But I don't know if you've seen it when I've been flying around showing you what we previously built. But the industrial mining area has been completed. I redid the staircase so you come up and you could go both ways. And up there, you know, go that way. This is where all the hard working villagers will be. So they've dug out this whole area, aka me using TNT. So I want to go into, I want to make it nighttime so you guys can actually see how, uh, how it is. That's perfect. So you come on in, you got the hanging lanterns, but you also have torches because that's what they primarily used. Come on in, you have a bunch of levels in here. And I did not put ladders on one of them. <laughs> but there is a ladder area. So I'll go through each build with detail and how I built it. So I redid the staircase and I kind of gave this big big stretcher pole thing you know to make it you know structural so you have two staircases going on up and here's the base so you have some logs you know so they can make the fences and go mining got ores everywhere got extra mine cards TNT barrels so they can access the boss's room and then he has what he's looking for a diamond and I use you know trap doors for the wall and then doors and it kind of blends in so I use these are logs and I or planks to be exact and I used railings to make it look like it was all tied down and then I have noticed throughout a lot of mining minecraft builds and actual mining shafts the staircases aren't that wide going up to a next level because you know they've I don't know why they do that but I've added that here so you go, go up to the next level this is where they you know burn all the materials craft it they have extra TNT up there you still have all the lanterns coming down uh, there's actually a secret barrel here extra minecart rails a bunch in here they have you know what they need to work with and then you go up to the third level and it's just more barrels and I used you know more trap doors to hold them up and then chains to act like you know it's not stable wood but that's what they had and then you go up to the post this is where like someone usually watches people make sure they're working and then a few more mine carts in case you know they run out they have lava like they can't stop lava from flowing because I mean sometimes they can in mining but they usually leave it and just put don't go in that area and then they also have water and then we go down into the recent built mine and there's a bunch of ores but there right here's the main project the diamond is what the boss wants so that's that's what they're gonna get and that's pretty much it it looks it looks so good and in my opinion I like how I incorporated all the levels all the structural beams and all that with the wood and keep it like that and just you know from here you know if you're if you're a normal day villager you're like hmm and you know you just like wow hey you should be working you have the clothes to be working go work right now man but yeah that's that's what I did you know I sorry I didn't record it I completely thought I was recording and then I went to like stop recording 
I was talking through the whole thing. I'm like, I was not recording. So yeah, that was pretty sad. Now you might be wondering why I didn't turn the stone into wood. Well, I just thought most mine shafts really don't have that. They're they're all mostly stone, but the next but when they have upper levels, there usually are wood, so that's what I did. And I think it's pretty cool. So let me know what you want me to build next. I have multiple so spots open, you know, to start building. Again, this is probably probably my favorite build and I think next we will build I don't know give me suggestions but I'm planning on building if you don't give me any suggestions um a uh, finishing the bottom part level and then fixing all the paths for everyone I think that'll be the next part but what's in here there's a little oh this is the redstone oh I did redstone I forgot I suck at redstone. If you haven't seen the other parts, um, the first thing we built was this bridge, and then this quarantine area, which has redstone lights, and a poor villager who's in the testing chamber. Is he dying? Oh, wait, I have... He's not dying. Let's turn off the lights, you can go in darkness. But yeah, I really like this build, and at the end of the build, uh, there will probably be an hour-long either a live stream of me playing or a video of me doing some special thing and I'll give you a hint with this piece going up here if that doesn't give you a hint of what it might be uh, stay tuned but yeah signing off for now let me know what you want me to build next and make sure you guys like and subscribe